Hi guys, my name is Harry. Recently, I did a lot of videos to guide you to deploy your first web app to Heroku, but many people still get failure at setting the app to work. They often encounter the Heroku app crash with the most popular error code, H10. So in this video, we will focus on the causes of Heroku H10 app crash error and how to solve them. Like I start now. As you already know, the Heroku H10 app crash is an error code which is thrown when an application crashes on Heroku. This is as much as it goes and it doesn't happen with the reason our app crash and that's where this video comes in. Let's talk about some causes of this error and I guarantee you some of them would surprise you greatly. Number 1. A bug in the profile. If it is the first time you deploy an application to Heroku, you must know that a profile is a part of Heroku. It's really necessary to create a profile because the profile will guide Heroku on how to run your app. So ensure that you have a profile at the root directory. A very interesting discovery for me is that a bug in your profile can crash your app. For example, pointing to the wrong server file, you run your app with the server.js, but in the profile, you point to the app.js that would definitely crash your app, and Heroku would greet you with the H10 app crash error code message. Secondly, a buggy profile can also come in in the form of wrong spacings. In the Heroku document, you will see the wrong way to write a profile with the Node.js environment. We don't need the space between two words web and node. So the first one is the wrong way and the second one is the correct way. Number two, missing required environment variables. Forgetting to set any required environment variables like your app port, your database, etc would prompt Heroku to greet you with this error. With the Node.js, you can set a port that can be set via process.env.port. If you don't have a .env file, and the syntax process.env get undefined, we, we use to vertical dash instead. Then on the Heroku app, click on the setting tab, then review config variables defines all your environment variables in this session. Number 3. Missing required scripts. This error is thrown in the Node.js environment if you forget to set a start script. Heroku use this script to start your app, so if it is missing, it will throw an H10 app crash error code message. They can be solved by setting a start script in the package.json, like what I did below. We have a start script to run the index.js. Final thoughts. If none of the above solves your problem, you can make a last ditch attempt by updating all your packages. Use the command npm update, then deploy your app to Heroku again. If this doesn't help and you're in the Node.js environment, your last result would be setting a node version in the engine session of your package DAO file. By default, Heroku will set up the newest version of Node.js for your app. But in this setting, we will make Heroku to install the Node.js with the specific version for us. Right here, I will set our Node.js version to 10.11.1. Lastly, if your bug defaults our solution, I leave you enable hands of Heroku restart. Use this command to make your Heroku app run again. Let me know if you have experienced any other causes of this error in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the newest video. Have a good day and see you in the next videos.